Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Womb Tone brought to you by Chase Bliss Audio. The Womb Tone is a very interesting pedal because it, it's an analog pedal with a proprietary design. It's its own thing, but it's based on some vintage phasers from the past that are no longer made. Um, and it combines analog with uh, digital control. So it's giving you a lot more options than you'd get just from a straight analog pedal. One of the great traits of this pedal is that although it's analog, because of the digital options, you're able to save some presets with this right here. The great thing about that is, you know, say you're in a recording studio and you set up just the perfect tone. You take a pass and then you come back later and go through some other stuff and then you go back to that setting because you want to punch something in. It's so hard on analog to, to call up the exact same tone, but because you can save it, it'll get you exactly the same, same sonic thing you had before, which is great. So as you can see, there's lots of knobs, lots of switches, but you can also control it with an expression pedal what we'll get, that we'll get to later on. It also offers a tap tempo, which is great. And right here, you can actually see where you're, you get a visual clue with that flashing light to see what your tempo is like, which is nice. And you can further control it with that switch right there. And there are dip switches on the back, which give you even further amp options. So you can tweak on this bad boy for hours. Also, the womb tone allows you to hook it up to MIDI so you can sync dead on with your tempo when you're recording, which is a great option if you're a MIDI person. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the controls. The first one is ramp. Now ramp works in conjunction with the dip switches in back. And in short, it gives you control of up to five of the parameters with a single knob, depending on how you set the, the back uh, dip switches. Next you have volume, and this pedal gives you a, a, a big dB boost. In fact, it's possible, if you manip manipulate it the right way, to use this as just a boost pedal alone if you bring down the depth and, and some of the other knobs. Next you have feed, which is the feedback the, uh, of, the, of the effect. After that is rate, which controls the rate obviously, but that is canceled out when you use the tap tempo. Um, next you have depth, which, and this has a lot of depth. You can go to crazy sounds or fairly subtle sounds. And finally, there's form, which controls the shape of the wave. You have an expression pedal in, in and out, uh, tap tempo out, if you want to hook it into your pedal board into another, like a universal tap tempo. Here you have a switch that helps you control the tap, uh, if it's going to be just quarter notes or whatever. And if that's not enough, those three options, you can go on back flip a dip switch and even get further options. Over here, these two are controlling the sign, the, the wave. And right in the middle here, this lets you uh, can jump between your presets and just change in real time. So that's the basics. That's way different than say the phase 90 that gives you a single knob. This is a tweaker's dream. Now let me tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm playing my 1956 uh, Les Paul Custom. It's basically stock. Um, uh, I've changed out the, the previous owner changed out the Bigsby. And at one point, long before I had it, the top was refinished, but the rest is all original. I'm running an Astro cable from the guitar into the pedal. From there, the pedal I'm going into a Mesa Boogie Lone Star. We're powering the pedal with a Voodoo Labs pedal power and miking the Lone Star with a Royer R121 mic, running that into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. The Lone Star I have basically flat. Um, on the clean channel, on the dirty channel, which we'll get into later, I've got a little bit of a mid-range boost, but that's kind of dealing with the P90s here. So honestly, there are so many sonic options here that you really just kind of have to play with it for hours. Uh, pour yourself a stiff drink and see what it does. But for, for right now, I'll just try a few different options. Let's put it in the middle here rather than our presets. On that Van Halen thing on the, on the head, I kind of preset it to make it sound a little bit like a phase 90 turned way down, which I think might've been what he was using on that. Maybe he's using the flanger. I'm not sure, but that was a pretty close tone. Um, 
Let me put it in the middle and just go through some freaky changes and see what you get. Now we're gonna use the tap a little bit too. So say you're doing like a funk thing. That gives you one option, but then you can flip over. And you go to a double time. Very cool. Now, over here, I found a, uh, I found that it makes a really good tremolo as well. That's a very convincing tremolo. Now, if you want straight ahead, normal, uh, I guess more pedestrian sounds, it'll, it'll certainly get that, like a, like say like a, uh, a Waylon Jennings type, you know, standard phase that you'd hear on all those classic country, country songs. Um, now, why don't I just uh, swing through a few more, let you just hear a little bit else what it does. Just spin a few knobs. It's getting a little trippy. It's just kind of a great, weird, trippy, hippie tone. Okay, I'm gonna plug in my expression pedal, and this is just like a generic M, I guess it's an M EXF uh, expression pedal. Uh, and I've got it set where, where it just controls when you depress the expression pedal, and this is something you can do with the dip switches on back, that that's when it changes the tone. So it only kind of, it almost, to me, it's almost like a wah uh, in this setting. So although the womb tone is a phaser, as you can see, it's a lot of other options too. A tremolo, a boost, it sounds like a rocket taking off, it sounds like a blender, it sounds like a phaser, it sounds like all kinds of things. So to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, go ahead and like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Poke around the old Premier Guitar website. We got hours and hours of guitar geekery to keep you entertained. Uh, this is John Bollinger. Peace out.
Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.